coming up on ESPN. He matured right before our very eyes last year, leading Dallas into the playoffs. Can Quincy Carter take the next step and become an even bigger leader? We'll see. San Diego Chargers, Carolina Panthers. It's game time. The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hello and welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Dan Stevens. My colleague here in the commentary booth is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have a solid tackler on defense who does an excellent job pursuing the ball. No doubt about that, Dan. These guys do an outstanding job of reading the offense and ripping it to shreds. Chris Jenkins is generally regarded to be the primo defensive end in the entire league. He fills gaps, and he's a fantastic tackler. When running backs are in his reach, he just swallows them up. You run into his arms, it's like hitting a brick wall. Warming up across the field is another tremendous football player. Jamal Williams is one of the most dominant defensive linemen in the entire league. This guy's like a rabid dog on the field once that ball snapped. He gets an excellent read on run plays, and he'll knock over as many guys as he has to to get to the ball. Well, better watch out because both of these guys have a chance to make some big plays today. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. It's heads. Number 10, kicking off for the charge. The ref gets the signal, and it's we're set. TV kicks it off to begin the game. Taylor fields it all the way back at the 1. Tackle at the 19. 19. A nice day for football, and ESPN Susie Culber will tell us if it will stay that way. Susie? Thanks, Dan. It's a slightly breezy day today, but it probably isn't enough to affect kicks or throws that much. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Susie. The Panthers get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 19-yard line. 26. Foley Carrier. takes him down back Number at the 15. With the tackle. Steve Foley makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Yep, he's not going anywhere, Dan. Second nice tackle. The defensive Frank design Frank worked Frank flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Taking it along ahead. Malone throws a heater, Passes and it complete. is not reeled in. Number incomplete. Was the intended Randall receiver. Godfrey completely breaks Randall up Godfrey the pass. You know, the he owned that zone so clearly, yeah, I bet he comes in on his days off to repair the turf. I That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Smith goes in motion. Walker makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Denard Walker swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. The defense prevents them from closing the gap and forces the incompletion. Nothing doing on that play, Peter. Well, they were just trying to get some yards out of it, not necessarily the first. And now they face a fourth down. Baker lines up to punt after the three and out. Baker gets the ball and punts it away. Jammer fields the punt at the 46. Quentin Jammer is the guy to watch. Third-year man out of Texas and someone who knows how to get serious punt return yardage. If you're the first guy to reach him, you better bring him down. The Chargers start this one on the center logo at the 46-yard line. Neal goes in motion. Turner gains five on the play, and that brings up second down.
Second down, Second and four, four yards to go. Ball at the 41. Gets the call again and takes it upfield. Tackled at the 38. Neal goes in motion. Backs him down back at the 42. That will bring up fourth down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Ziffrey lines up for the punt. Formation. Ken Lucas to make the return. Ziffrey <laughs> takes the long snap and names this one out of bounds. This will fly out of bounds at the 12. Mike Siffries did a good job angling the punt out of bounds, so the offense will start off stuck inside the 20. The Panthers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 13-yard line. Colbert goes in motion. Foster catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. Jake Delholm made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, second but they were you know, hoping for more. Ball at the Panthers' 13-yard line. Single back, single back. Check man, check man. Single back, single back. Foster gets the handoff and heads left. Number 26. Drag down the at the 16. Number 54 with the tackle. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. All right, defense, let's hit him Third hard. and seven. Ball at the Panthers, 16-yard line. It's intercepted. Charger. Stop at the 21. Terrence Field does a fantastic job breaking down the play and knowing where to be to intercept the pass. Having help in the zone really paid off for him. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Chargers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 21-yard line. Rivers hits some air under this pass, Touchdown and it's Chargers. caught for the score. Antonio Gates is all by his lonesome on this one. Danny takes full advantage of it, too. What happened to the coverage? Let's look. Well, that's an easy catch. My six-year-old could have caught that. That's his first touchdown of the day. And, and I think he's a guy you can count on to make Number those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for Number himself, five. and he usually meets it. Well, check it out. He's now up over 1,000 yards. This season. Now the point after, the and point is good. it's good. Gets the signal, and we're set. Keeping booms a beauty here. Williams decides to take it out of the end zone. Another move. Tackled at the 20. Bobby Williams took it out of the end zone. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Panthers' offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 20-yard line. 
Smith didn't haul Passes that one in, and it falls incomplete. Steve Smith Turner had to receiver. leave the field earlier Ashley in the game, Ambrose and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I got in touch with the team doctor, and apparently he's torn his calf muscle. They're icing the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it doesn't seem to be that effective. The official word on his return, doubtful. Back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. it out left side and it's Passes incomplete. incomplete. Number 84. Jake Delhomme has had receiver. difficulties to say the Marlon least McCree and now he's second guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far he struggled to get one yards and one interception. Third and ten. Ball at the Panthers 20 yard line. They couldn't connect on this Passes one. Incomplete. incomplete. It'll be Steve fourth Smith down. The intended receiver. Jake Delholm threw an incomplete Marlon pass McCree there. The you know, maybe that's lucky since there were two defenders in that zone. They've been having problems connecting over the middle of the field, and there was more proof of it right there. Yeah, a lot of bodies over the middle, and that congestion is what they're having problems with. Baker lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Baker takes the snap and punts it away. Jammer fields it at the 39. Brought down at the 44. Quentin Jammer didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Chargers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 44-yard line. Hamrick will get the carry on first down and choose up about four on the play. Second and five. Ball at the Chargers, 48 yard line. Mano Malayuna goes in motion. Rivers zings it to the right side, and the reception is made for a first and more. Five, touchdown and charge. he's in for the touchdown. Keenan McCardell shows his coverage, man. The finer points of pass patterns, namely, get away from me. I have the ball to catch. He really beat his man. That was bad coverage. Uh, he's just a great receiver, though. He knew where he had to be, and he was there. He gets the touchdown off a nice play. Fantastic Number athleticism. What a point. player. Number five, holding. Now the extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Keating kicks it off. Taylor fields the kickoff at the two. Tackled at the 20. Jamar Taylor tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Panthers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 20-yard line. Number 56 gets the sack, the sack at the 16. Number 56 nails his man behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, yeah, that's a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. Peter, they put an Second end to that 14. play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on run. that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Second down with a split backfield. Fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. 
Jake Delholm goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Foley penetrates and stops that back at the 30. Steve Foley targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Second That's his 11. second tackle so far. Panthers 30-yard line. Delone dumps it out left and the reception's made at the 40. Chase down at the 43. It will be first down. Steve Smith, he's just crazy good on this play, Then He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw somewhere else, I think. Oh, but it didn't matter. He made the catch. The Great the job. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Chargers enjoying the lead 14 to nothing. Holbert goes in motion. Foley tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Steve Foley targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Malone airs this one to the left sideline, and it's intercepted. Stop at the 44. I'm coming down. I'm oh, coming. I'm oh, coming. Oh, okay. oh, 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 Marlon McCree knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And, man, he timed it perfectly. Could give his receivers a few tips about mid-air receptions. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Chargers come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their 44-yard line. The Cardell goes in motion. Harris goes right up the middle about three yards. Second down, Second one man back. Ball at the Chargers, 47 yard line. Rivers uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Phillip Rivers throws into a crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go. Well, the D had him covered, and they just couldn't get to the ball in time. A perfect pass. You can't coach that. That kind of pass is instinct. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 19 yards and two touchdowns. McAdam tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Kevin McAdam was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Rivers lobs this one way over the middle and it's intercepted. Drag down at the 24. Philip Rivers is under fire in the backfield back there. I think that rushed him into throwing a bad pass for the interception. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Panthers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 24-yard line. <laughs> Good for six. Pass complete. Number 53 with the tackle. Jake Delholm is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. 
Up to now, he's got 34 yards and two interceptions. Second and three. Ball with the Panthers, 30-yard line. Games goes in motion. Foster takes it for his fifth carry and gains about three yards. Randall Godfrey brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They hold pretty third firm and there, inside. and they've got to do ball it again on third and short. Yard line. Him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the markers. Fourth down coming up. Stephen Cooper is not going to let them get back to the line here. Look how he just rolls into the backfield and just lays out the ball carrier. He's quick and he knows how is to hurt again. That's his oh second God. tackle so far. Baker lines up to punt the after return. the three and out. Baker Number gets seven, ready to punt, punt this away. Quinton Jammer to make the return. <laughs> Baker gets the ball and punts it away. Jammer fields the deep punt at the 27. Tackled at the 35. Quinton Jammer returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Chargers come out on the field, and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at their 35-yard line. McAdam tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Kevin McAdam came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Watch that counter. Watch second that and counter. ten. Ball at the Chargers. 35 yards. Yeah. Rivers passes a high, long one, and it's complete at the 43. 20. First down, two wide outs on the field. Second down. Rivers throws a bullet, and this one is incomplete. Third down from the on. Didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Antonio Gates tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. Third and long, they have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. And he misses this one to the right. Nate Keating marks a kick here that's not a shorty, but isn't that long either. Oh, that has got to rattle him. Oh, poor guy. I think what he really needs is a big hug. Yeah, maybe a new foot. <laughs> if he's not careful, a new jersey. The Panthers' offense has to score here. This drive will start at their own 28-yard line. Foster gets the toss and runs into traffic. Number Tackled, 26. and the clock the will carrier. continue to run. Number 53 with the tackle. Deshaun Foster has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like his timing is way off. He's working hard, but only has one yard on seven carries. Time to run, Jake. Second and ten. Ball at the Panthers' 27-yard line. Yeah! 
Malone. Airs this one to the left sideline, and it's Passes not incomplete. reeled in. Incomplete. Smith was Ashley Ambrose receiver. had superb coverage Ashley on that Ambrose play. No wonder it was incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Third nice pressure ten. that time. Third All down, ten, empty back. Smith goes in motion. Keel makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Terrence Keel came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Baker lines up to punt after the three and out. Baker gets the snap and punts it away. Jammer feels the punt at the 33. Brought down at the 42. Quentin Jammer racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the sides of the punt a little bit. The Chargers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their 42-yard line. Brown goes in motion. Bulldozes right of center. The Chargers take their first time out. Second and six. Ball at the Chargers, 46-yard line. The Chargers will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down, two receivers to the left. Picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Panthers offense takes the field with the clock at 22. Delome throws a bullet to the flat, and the Panthers take their first time out. Second down, Second three wide six. outs in the game. Ball at the 38-yard line. <laughs> this one will fall incomplete. incomplete. Ashley Ambrose shadowed the slant the route back receiver. there and kept the receiver Ashley from making Ambrose the catch. With the cover. Incomplete pass. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is third supposed to play. Ball at the 38-yard line. Delome throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth down. Steve Smith ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. Peter, they couldn't get the last few yards they wanted, and now it is fourth down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. Fourth down, two yards to go. <laughs> Casey boots it from 50 yards out and puts it straight through the uprights and good. John Casey really gets the whole ball here and he needed it, watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. The field goal puts them a little closer to tying things up. Yeah, and that's a positive note their coach can point to when he tries to pump up his team at halftime. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Baker kicks this one away. 
Jackson fields it all the way back at the four. Right down at the 26. Terry Jackson was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Chargers offense takes the field with the clock at two. Neal catches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. And that'll do it for the first That's half the of this of one. The Chargers enjoying the lead 14 to 3. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN halftime report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Chargers are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Terrence Keel shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Bolts have it off an interception, already inside field goal range. Phillip Rivers connected with his man on this one. A 21-yard touchdown for the Chargers. Chargers still midway through the first quarter. Bolts ahead by seven. Keenan McCardell came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. They're now up by 14. The Panthers later in the second. Marlon McCree would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Panthers behind, 14 to nothing. Kevin McAdam was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Chargers midway through the second, the ball at their own 34. Antonio Gates emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. Chargers late into the second quarter. Bolts out in front by 14. Ken Lucas shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Panthers late in the second quarter. John Casey sets up for a long one here. He's got plenty of boot behind this one. It's through. A 51-yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Panthers are down at the half, 14 to three. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Antonio Gates has been unstoppable. So that does it for our Halftime Report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Chargers get the ball first this half, and another score by them could really seven, open up this game. The they currently lead 14 to 3. Let's go down to the field. Jackson fields the second half kick off at the 7. Breaks a tackle. Eventually tackled at the 40. Either interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. Let's go down to Susie Culber, who has an update for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Marty Schottenheimer well, took a moment to speak with me during halftime, and he said, our offense has been getting into the end zone. Defensively, we've held them to negative rushing yards. We just need to continue to play at the same level for all 60 minutes. We'll see what they can do. Guys, back to you. Brown makes the catch on the right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. First and 10. Ball at the 44-yard line. Troy Hambrick just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough, and he struggled to get 10 yards on seven carries. We're shutting it down. Second and nine. Ball at the 44-yard line. 
Hamrick gets the ball again and ends up losing about three. Mike Minter targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Rivers throws a high, long one to the right, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Lamar Marshall did a beautiful job on that last play covering the post route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Siffries takes the long snap and punts it away. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, punting is not going to win you a game. Although it looks like they are trying to do that, they need to put a drive together and get into the end zone. The Panthers' okay. offense has taken Carolina. the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 20-yard line. Mangum goes in motion. Foster dodges this one way out right and hits wide right. Hit it down at the 42. That will bring up first down. And check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. First down with the tight end right. Interception. Drag down at the 46. Well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab, and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. That's their third interception of the game, and Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Chargers' offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at the 46-yard line. Neal goes in motion. Rivers throws a heater right sideline and it's caught at the 31. First down Finally charge. dropped at the five. It'll be first and oh, goal. All right, baby. First down. Tina McCardell fought for a whole lot more after the catch back there. Great run. What a play. A massive pickup and an obvious first down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on first that base. All at the five. Kevin McAdam targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Second down, goal to go. Rivers sees it to the right side, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Mike Minter shut down that pass perfectly. You know, when you're sitting back in a zone like that, what you're trying to do is read the quarterback's eyes to get a jump on the ball. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. But Cardell goes in motion. Hamrick <laughs> has his number called on third down and is dropped short of the marker. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Keating with a 21-yarder, and this one is up and in. Nate Keating gets the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches, and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. 
Number 10 kicking off for the Chargers. There's the signal, and we're ready. Heaving. Rockets this one deep. Williams decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 20. Bobby Williams got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Panthers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Foster gets the call on the first down and heads out right. Stopped at the 25. Second and five. Ball at the Panthers' 25-yard line. Foster catches it in the flat and picks up four on the play. Pass complete. Number 56 on the tackle. And we're going to get it this time. And we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, and we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Jake Delholm has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 46 yards and three interceptions. Third down, Here's two tight ends running. in the game. Ball with the Panthers, 29-yard line. Take this one off the toss and takes it upfield. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 49. That will bring up first down. Deshaun Foster just plain rude on this play. Dan, he obliterates his tacklers by pushing them aside. Oh, that's how you do a stiff arm. You can't coach that. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. First down. Deshaun Johnson plays this one perfectly, getting himself to the right place at the right time to make the catch. The defense should be embarrassed that they let this one get away. Yeah, Peter, they had him double covered, and they still couldn't get to the ball in time. He was just too good for them. Yeah, he's an incredible receiver. Nothing gets in his way. A lot of short completions like that today, Peter, where they get stops right uh, soon after the catch. Yeah, if you can't make anything happen after the catch, those short throws are useless. Delone throws this on a rope, and it's tipped incomplete. Marlon McCree came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Second down, tight end to the left. Foster gets the call on second down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Randall Godfrey was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered That's into the, the backfield and made quarter. the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Chargers enjoying the lead, 17-3. One way down over the middle, and it's intercepted. Chargers. Yeah, keep it up. Marlon McCree intercepts the football. Let's take another look. That is a stellar effort on the part of the D. He's got his own all locked up tight. He knows how the play is going to go down. And that gives him the chance to step in and make a play himself. You can't coach that. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then so, so far, he's got two interceptions. Mata Malayuna goes in motion. <laughs> Hamrick picked up about Jordan seven, Hamrick. and that brings up second ben down. With the Mike Goff used every ounce of his big self to do some key blocking on that last play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. 
Second down, Second and they line three. up with three tight ends. The Chargers, 27 yard line. get any traction so to speak no room to run anywhere and he struggled just to get 13 yards on 12 carries we shut you down Neil goes in motion Hamrick will get the carry on third down Taken down well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Maake Kimoyatu not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Sifri lines up to punt after the three and out. Ken Lucas to make the return. Ziffries takes the snap and pummels this one deep. Lucas gets it at the 30. Brought down at the 36. Ken Lucas got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Panthers have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their 36-yard line. Walker tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Denard Walker couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. And Peter, you have to figure that when GMs draft defensive players with a few extra inches to them, this is what they have in mind. Yeah, you know, back in my day, you'd see guys 5'8", 5'9", back there, but again, that was back in my day. A different era, as you like to point out. <laughs> Malone throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. The intended receiver, Ashley Ambrose, with the coverage. Third and ten. Ball at the Panthers' 36-yard line. Cobra makes the catch to the left. First down, one man back. Delone lobs it to the left sideline, and he's on target for a gain of five. Forces the incompletion. incompletion with the deflection. Terrence Keel managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their Third fifth batted ball. ball. Nice ball aggressive D. Malone <laughs> throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete. Short That's of the complete. markers, however, it'll be Quentin fourth Jam down. With the tackle. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. Pass interference, number 53, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First and 10. Ball at the 32-yard line. Malone gets all of his arm into this pass and it's intercepted. Charger. Tackled at the 25. Oh, 
Randall Godfrey made a great interception back there thanks to some tight double zone coverage. Great teamwork. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. The Chargers are in control, but it's far from over. The offense comes out and will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. The Cardell goes in motion. Hamlet will get the handoff and maybe picks up one on the play. Troy Hamlet didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had to help us in blocking. Well, I guess the defense had their number. He's not made much headway up the middle, although it's not for lack of trying, and that's for sure. They can't get effective blocking there. you got to go elsewhere. Second down. The clock is stopped at two minutes. this away. Ziffrey <laughs> gets the snap and punts it away. Lucas fields the punt at the 28. Stopped at the 32. Ken Lucas got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Panthers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.45. Walker puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Jake Delholm has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he struggled to get 91 yards and no touchdowns. Second down. The clock Second is stopped at 142. Panthers 32 yard line. Delone throws a beauty to the right side, and it's incomplete. tipped. Incomplete. Quentin Jammer came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. <laughs> that is their sixth so far. Wow, great Third anticipation of the pass. Oh, look at all the interceptions there. Smith didn't haul Passes that one in, and it falls incomplete. Fourth down coming receiver. up. Denard Walker Denard was in Walker perfect position for the hook back there. He caused the incompletion. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. <laughs> Delone zings it to the right side, and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 29. <laughs> Terrence Keel not only shanghais the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around. To react, make the catch, and then get some yardage to boot. You can't coach that. Peter, that's his second interception, and what a game he's having so far. Unbelievable. He's all pumped up down there.
Fourth down. 14 yards to go. Keating boots it from 50 yards out and can't quite get enough leg behind that one. Nate Keating puts everything he has behind this kick, but it just doesn't happen for him. In all fairness, that's a pretty long kick. In fact, it's so far away, he may not even realize he missed it yet. You know, Dan, it may be time to get that prescription updated. They're, they're doing amazing things with trifocals these days. Watch it there, young fella. The Panthers have had real problems turning the ball over. They'll need to buck the trend on this drive, which starts at their 41-yard line. It's intercepted. The 35. Bagged down at the 36. Face mask. Number 75. Offense. Five-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. And that is going That's to do it for this one. The Chargers come out on top 17 to 3. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Chargers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Phillip Rivers connected with his man on this one. Deshaun Foster would get the carry here. Good blocking up front to help to spring him. The Bolts, after getting an interception, Bolts winning by 11. Keenan McCardell came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. They move ahead by 14. The Panthers on defense, Marlon McCree, shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Panthers losing 17 to three. Randall Godfrey would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Ball at their own 31. Terrence Keel is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Panthers, after a missed field goal, Panthers back by 14. Quentin Jammer shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bolts win this one 17 to 3. Now let's check in with our player of the game. A guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Keenan McCardell is standing by with our Susie Culver. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You helped carry your team today. And you were instrumental in helping your team snag the win. What gave you guys the edge today? Man, really, I think we just came out and played hard today. I think our D-line did a good job of controlling the line of scrimmage and pressure on the quarterback. Man, that helped us dominate on the defensive end. Chris, back to you. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long.